Greetings Lunarians and Brigandine fans, I'm your host, Bagus Lunari. Today, we are going to be looking at the latest producer letters from the developers of Brigandine Legend of Runercia. So, in this video, we're going to be discussing the difficulty levels and what you can come to expect from playing the country of your choosing. Please do note that this will not be a full-fledged guide on how to play each country. That will come later on my channel when I release guide videos on how to play them after the game releases and of course after I had experience with each country. So stay tuned for that for sure. The countries have been broken up into beginner, intermediate, and expert categories. So I do hope you enjoy the video. Please stay tuned to see what country you might think about starting with when you finally receive your game. Picking things off with the beginner difficulty is the Norzalio Kingdom. The main reason they fall under the beginner category is because they only have two castles to defend from the beginning of the game. Those two castles being located of course here and here. They can make a nice early progression by attacking south from the left and also right from the east. This allows them to continue to hold choke points within the other countries so they can gather their forces and have a very heavy defense from the start. According to rumors in the Brigandine Discord that I am hosting, there are a total of 14 knights in Norzalio Kingdom from the beginning. Assuming you do have a total of 14 knights from the beginning, you have a vast opportunity to expand your territory even after taking the first two choke points. The choke point in the west does have double the route spanning from it, so your best bet is to probably go ahead and expand your offense into the eastern territory where it only has two routes spanning from it. Keep in mind, of course, you do want to have a very heavy defensive team holding the west choke point as you continue with your offense in the east. Continuing with the beginner difficulty level is the Shinobi tribe. This country also only has two castles they need to defend from the beginning. However, it could be a little bit more difficult to expand. When it comes to expansion, this one's gonna be a little bit more tricky. It all depends on how many knights they start you with at the beginning of the game. It is rumored that you do start with 15 knights in Shinobi. Of course, that is not set in stone. If that is the case, then you can make a solid five teams of three because you are only allowed three squadrons per battle. So since it expands so vastly in the west right away after that first choke point is taken, you may want to focus your efforts on expanding to the west instead of the east because as soon as you take those two castles to the east, it expands even more. So be very wary and plan out your path extremely well before you commit to it. And now we start getting into the intermediate difficulties with the Republic of Guamul. This country already has a ton going on with it. You have a lot of options for expansion. Please keep in mind that the arrows being shown on the map is not my advice to keep spreading out like in all directions all at once. Please plan your route carefully. But they are rumored to start with 15 rune knights as well, it looks like. If that is indeed the case, you can make another solid five teams of three. Focusing, of course, more choke points as you progress through your offense. The best strategy at first glance seems to be expanding in the west. You can take what seems to be about two castles within Norzalio Kingdom and into the Shinobi tribe right away and hold choke points with two strong teams. It is, of course, encouraged to take as many choke points as you can, but especially in the east, make sure that you have a strong choke point going into the Mana Silesia Theocracy, that's the purple. I'm not exactly sure how the southern country of Morelva is going to work because they literally only have one path between their castles that you can take one really, really strong team of three into and just take the entire country. However, there might be some type of catch to it maneuvering through that country. We'll see what happens. But regardless, it seems to be from the beginning your best bet is to expand into the west and also to the south into Morelva while heavily defending the choke points within the Mana Silesia Theocracy. Next on the list in intermediate difficulty is the United Islands of Morelva. Morelva also has only three castles to defend from the start, but it seems to me that they have less options than the Republic of Gumul has. They are rumored to also have 15 knights at the beginning, so you can also make a solid five teams of three. It should be fairly easy to maneuver to choke points in the beginning, but as soon as you get into the theocracy, it's going to be very hard to expand, so your best bet is to probably go ahead and to expand first, into the Republic of Gumul to the west, or probably my uh, assumption would be to go into the Holy Gustava Empire to the north. So here we have our third and final candidate within the intermediate difficulty, Tim Gustav from the Holy Gustava Empire. So this strategy seems to be a bit more streamlined in my opinion. It 
probably goes without saying that you should get a very strong defense in the center castle and start expanding your offense into the west and into the east. Probably going to be a lot easier to expand into the west rather than the east. So focus your efforts to the west first, then concentrate your efforts into the east before you start tackling the center. And finally, our one and only candidate for the expert difficulty is the Mana Cilicia Theocracy. This is the faction that your boy is going to be playing for his first playthrough. They are rumored to have a total of 16 knights within the country. Regardless of the number, it's going to be very difficult to expand at the beginning of the game. Considering the number of knights, you only really have one knight quest and to potentially recruit more knights, you're going to need additional knights in order to hold other choke points while you maintain your offense in whatever direction you decide. My initial thoughts are to expand into the south taking out Morella since the entire country is basically one long route all the way into the Republic of Wamul. If you can manage to take out the South first, I think it'll be a much easier playthrough than you expect. I heavily do not recommend that you expand your forces into the West because you're only going to be able to have one team on that Northwestern castle. All right, everyone, hopefully you got some nice insight from that entire presentation and hopefully it gave you a better idea of who you might start playing with in your first playthrough. I'm heavily curious to see who is going to pick what country first, so please leave your comments below, let me know. If you are a fellow Theocracy player like myself, I would also like to know that as well. If you decide to go balls to the wall right away, I wanna know about it. If you do wish to read the actual producer letters that the developers have released on their website, I will leave that and Brigandine resources category in the description. Within those resources, you can also find the Brigandine Discord server that I am hosting, along with the Brigandine fan site that Veracity Trigger is hosting. I will inform you now that I do plan to release several guide videos for this game along with my Let's Play series. And of course, I'll be streaming the crap out of this on my Twitch channel, so if you have not followed me over there, it is also in the description. If you have missed any previous updates I have done for the game, you can find that in the top right hand corner. I hope you all are looking forward to the release date as much as I am, which is again, June 25th of 2020. Burgundine fans, it's been such a pleasure. I am your host, Dago Sonari, and I will see you in the next update or guide video or Let's Play series. Farewell, Burgundine fans. Peace.